Alright guys, just making a quick video today to highlight probably one of the worst websites out there at the moment for when it comes to classic WoW guides. And hopefully to get people to stop using this website and to actually use better websites with correct info and websites and areas of a community that are actually part of the community. Because this website I'm going to talk about, it isn't maintained or made by anyone in the community because it's just a cash grab website, yet so many people use it. By the way guys, I'm putting a feeler out for a potential fan meetup happening late November, early December. It's going to be happening in the town that I live in, Lancaster in the north of England. We could potentially, however, be doing the 555 pub crawl. If you know what that is, you're automatically a legend. Join the Discord to find out more info, but anyway, let's carry on with the video. So the website I'm talking about is obviously wowtbc.gg. They definitely shot themselves in the foot with that website title. Now, if you don't know, this it's not even a World of Warcraft website, guys. It's a League of Legends site. Like, they make fairly decent League of Legends guides, but they've branched out to other games, basically to just get the info, put it on a website, and make money from it. This isn't like... A website that's actually been put up by the community like Wowhead or anything like that, or even Warcraft Tavern. Warcraft Tavern isn't that great either, to be honest, although it's quite decent for profession and gold guides. By the way, guys, if you haven't already subbed, please subscribe to the channel. All subs get access to my big week or a macro guide for literally every single class in the game. And very soon, we're going to have a gold guide for every single class too, so stay tuned for that. So I'll show you why the guides are so bad. I think most people come to this website because, to be fair, it does look very good. It's a very well-made website, it's very clean, and some of the info, like the basic info, is correct sometimes, but even sometimes the basic info isn't, so I can't really say that with confidence. Classic example here on the Death Knight guide. Talks about using an indestructible potion, which will increase your attack power, right, when you've got the bladed armor talent, because it's your armor increases your attack power. So increasing your armor will increase your attack power. But the thing is, only Frost Death Knights do this. Only Frost Death Knights off-spec into blood. Whereas Unholy Death Knights don't. They off-spec into frost. It's really not clarifying that you need to have the bladed armor talent here in order for this to actually be worth doing. And it also does recommend the rather archaic two-hander build. As we know for Unholy, two-handers are definitely a thing of the past. And it generally just isn't giving enough information as to why, you know, one-handers are better than two-handers. Because, you know, people come to this guide and be like, oh, I can use whatever build I want. I've got a good two-hander weapon, I'm going to go two-hander now. And I'd be in Holy Death Knights running around with two-handed weapons. My advice, guys, is to actually check out the Wowhead guides. Now, the Wowhead guides are not perfect. They're normally 95% correct, but very usually they are written by people people who actually are on the class discords and that is the true place that you should be going for all of the best information. I'm going to leave all of them linked in the description of this video. The great thing about the class discords is it's basically an absolute hive mind of giga chads who know a lot about the game and say for instance you're on one of these discords you put out some info or you put out some theory crafting you've got hundreds of other people to also test what you're saying and to point out your mistakes to prove what you're doing wrong and to refine the guides and what you're talking about. So the discords are definitely the best place to go to. It's the place where the information is going to be the most up to date because obviously on the Wowhead guide, now there's, I've seen mistakes on the Wowhead guide that take 20 days to be fixed. Whereas on the class discord, it's obviously just going to be there straight away. I'll tell you a funny story actually about this website, wowtbc.gg. Long time ago, when I made a guild with one of my friends, well, really, he made the guild and I joined it, let's be honest. At the start of TBC, um, obviously, I was an officer in that guild, but I didn't really have time to be an officer. Anyway, I was effectively, well, I was trying to, like, help an affliction warlock in our raid group and basically just trying to coach her to basically do more damage because she was struggling to get, you know, anywhere significant on the DPS meters. I was talking to, um, I was actually talking to Crix at the time because he was playing Affliction, getting all the information from him. I was looking at class discords and basically getting all the best info. And then all the other officers told me, look, I'm the raid leader. I'm telling her what to do. Do everything on this wild 
wowtbc.gg guide and stop listening to Meta Goblin. And as you can probably imagine, her DPS was literally just one spot over the tank. And I'm not going to name and shame all of the officers of the heavy vat guild on Pyewood EU because I wouldn't be as petty and low enough to do that. So in summary guys, you know, stay away from wowtbc.gg. Wowhead, guides are much better, they're a be better start because they are normally written by people from the class discords, but ultimately you want to be getting on those class discords for the best and most up-to-date information. And if you genuinely want to increase your performance in raids and just generally become a better player. And I'm even saying this despite the fact that all the class discords are extremely ferociously and viciously toxic and horrible to content creators. Even bearing that all, all in mind, I would still recommend a class discords because ultimately it is the best place to get the best info. But anyway guys, my name is Metagolman to the next video. Ciao.